Members of Arone County Church are trying to shine a light on one of their own. Six on Your Side reporter Kristen Gallant shows us how they've started a project called Love in Action Project Virgil for a Marine Corps veteran who's come across some hard times. When members of Luminary United Methodist Church realized that one of their own was living in not the best conditions, they decided to do something about it. Virgil is a Marine Corps veteran, um, a Vietnam Marine Corps veteran. Virgil. We don't want to put his picture out there or anything like that or use his last name because we want to just protect him. He didn't always live like this. Before he went into the Marine Corps, he was a high school basketball star. And uh, he graduated from high school and got a job as a police officer. But life had a different plan. Well, then he got drafted in the only year that the Marine Corps drafted anyone. And of course, the Vietnam War was going on then. Virgil was a big boy, so they made him a military police, an MP. He was guarding the gate of a Vietnamese civilian compound when it was attacked. He swam to where a, um, a bush was hanging over the water, and he stayed there with only his head submerged for two days. He got like three different awards while he was in the Marine Corps. He got back to the States. Things looked to be fine, and he joined the police department. Well, then he started having flashbacks. Now, at 75, Virgil is unable to work. His only income is Social Security. All he owns is two acres of land and what's on it. He comes to church every week. He has no running water. Hasn't had for six or seven years. So he comes to the church and showers four times a week. Uh, very gentle guy. He comes upstairs to the clothes closet and we supply him with clothing and bags of food. Now they're taking it a step further. To see him living like this, the way he lives, is just unacceptable for a Marine Corps veteran in the United States of America. They've started a GoFundMe for the project and hope to build him a home he can be proud of. We just want to get it taken care of. We want to get him taken care of. To give something to the person who gave his all for our country. In Roan County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. We do have a link to that GoFundMe account on WATE.com. They hope to raise $60,000 to help build Virgil a home on his two-acre property.